hey guys welcome back to my channel as you guys seen by the title we're going to be doing a full everything shower routine these are some of the products that are going to be featured our vanilla brown sugar shea butter smells and to start off we're going to light a pumpkin spice candle so the first step of my shower routine is to use nair shower cream hair remover and i like doing this because your girl does not like shaving and i only use this on my legs because i am scary i don't want to try to put this anywhere else but my legs so that's what i'm going to be doing in this portion of the video i do want to mention that i try to do my everything shower routine at least once a week preferably on sundays to help me get ready for the week but also i've started implementing eucalyptus in the shower and just a tip make sure you guys are rolling it out with either with a rolling pin or your arm to help to get the smell to come through as you're showering so after about five minutes i take a washcloth and i wipe off all the nair and then you'll see your hair coming off it's real quick and easy and then i'm going to put this washcloth away because i'm not going to use this to wash my body i use the dial gold bar and the peppermint dr bronner's soap together if you have sensitive skin i would not do this but i like to feel extra clean this is my first clean my base clean so i like to make sure my body is squeaky clean i personally did not grow up knowing this so if you're older or younger watching this and you didn't know that it's okay i'm just here to let you know but you definitely want to dilute this because the peppermint can be strong and the dial can be drying as well. So I just use a rag for this part just to separate, you know, my smell goods from just my base wash and what I use. And I make sure to scrub my legs as well. And I use this over my entire body. I do put this on my feminine areas, but I do rinse it off quickly. I don't let it sit or anything like that just to give it a first wash as well. I then go in with my smell goods and with these you do not want to use these downstairs on her because they can throw off your ph so i use my exfoliating net and i use first my dove shea butter and vanilla body wash i just scrub my whole body top to bottom and my legs as well don't forget to do your legs your legs need the same loving that your top of your body gets as well And then I go in with the Caress Shea Butter and Brown Sugar Exfoliating Body Wash. And this isn't really exfoliating, so it's not going to be too harsh on your skin. Most of the time, I mix the two together because they actually smell very good together. So it just makes it less steps in the shower if you want to do it that way as well. And as for my feminine wash, this is the last step I like to do in the shower when it comes to like body care to make sure that it's super clean. And I use the Monistat Feminine Cleanser with Boric Acid. If you're someone who doesn't like feminine washes, I highly suggest using the Dove Sensitive Bar. You just don't want to use anything fragrant down there to throw off your pH. I usually do this step after the peppermint and dial my first wash, which is the Urban Skin Even Tone Soap I'm trying bar. to get my skin to get a little lighter. Around my neck and my shoulders and under my arms, I notice it's a little dark. So I'm trying this product out and in future shower routines, I'll let you guys know if I like it. Then I use oil to shave just to make the razor a little slicker. And honestly, I get the cheapest five blade men razor that they have because I just shave my armpits with it. The skin evening tone bar is sitting on my skin for five minutes. I usually go in and my feet with the sponge bowl that I got from T Max. It smells really good. It's actually the rose water one and it's pink. So it was like a plus. In my robe and i use my jergens lotion this is the shea butter one just for the full vibes and i'm between the jergens and nivea type of girl so right now i'm using jergens because i like how jergens is thick nivea is a little runny so i like that more for like the summertime because it smells a little like sweeter and more like perfume let me know if y'all feel the same way if you use that product i've been recently getting into lotion in my body because when i tell you when you're lotioned up like you just feel like a i feel like a cinnamon roll or something like i don't know i just feel, feel my skin feels hydrated started incorporating using aquaphor on my feet every night i usually do it right before i get in the bed so i'm not walking around with greasy feet 
And some people even put socks on, but I don't sleep with socks on, so I can't do that. So another thing I do is use alcohol on a cotton pad and put it behind my ears to clean behind my ears. That is a spot that we sweat a lot, especially if we wear wigs and braids. If you are getting your hair wet, I would recommend doing this or using witch hazel with no alcohol if you have sensitive skin. And I also use witch hazel on my behind, on my butt crack, you know, just to make sure things are smelling okay. Then I dry it with a paper towel because I don't like sitting with like moisture or anything. Another tip I have I wanted to put y'all on is tea tree oil and prid if you have a boil. I deal with boils, so I just wanted to give y'all that tip in case you do. I promise y'all it will probably come to the surface within three days and pop. I've usually used Dove deodorant my whole life, but this is the shea butter just to match the vibes. Next up is my oil routine and I, I use coconut oil for oil pulling. And Crest is the toothpaste I use and y'all want to know something funny about me. I actually hate watching people brush their teeth. Like I hate watching myself brush my teeth so i can't do that for too long on the video like i couldn't even watch myself it's just some it's just one of those things i cannot stand so next up i use my tongue scraper i use the disposable ones and then i've gotten into using a water flosser and then i do that for about two minutes and i use the best mouthwash there is that their breath cells and that's invigorating icy mint if you want to really feel the burn then definitely get that one the other ones be like mild i don't like that Another funny thing about me, I actually don't know how to gargle, so I'm, I feel so childish sometimes, but I'm gonna learn one day. So you, I usually just switch it around, you know, try to try to do something with it. And then the last thing I do is just put Vaseline on because my lips are usually dry by this point. Next up, I do my skincare routine. I use CeraVe Foaming Cleansing Wash. And as y'all can see, my skin is a decent amount of dark spots on it. I had very bad acne. I will tag the video down below that I did on my acne journey. But as I've gotten older, I haven't dealt with acne as much, so I just use a plain wash. If I have breakouts, I'll show you guys what I use in a second. But I try to do dermal planning once a month to get old skin off of my face to open up a new layer. That's what I think I'm doing. So I just use a razor and aloe vera gel on my skin, and I usually get my sideburns because they're very long. And trust me, they grow back the same way every time. So it's going to come back in case somebody thinks I'm doing something crazy. And if you're doing this, be sure to stretch and pull your skin. It helps to get better results. And if you've never done this before, definitely take your time. You do not want to cut your face or anything. And most of the time, I shape up my eyebrows while I'm doing it. And then this is what it looks like, like dead skin and hair that's on your face. So I do use this toner. I just didn't use it in the video. And then I use this discoloration correcting serum. But I'm going to go back to the topicals faded cream instead to see if I feel a difference between the two. Then I end off using the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I use this in the fall and winter because it's thicker and it makes my skin feel more moisturized. I go in with the Black Girl Sunscreen in the morning time. And then I go in with this eye cream from Urban Skin. Again, it's, it's pretty expensive for this little jar, so definitely make sure to not use that much. Even though there probably are more affordable options, I'm gonna see how I feel about it when I finish the entire container. This is the product I use when I have breakouts. I just use this instead of a whole wash because I really don't deal with acne as much. And then I usually go in with this Burt Bees because I bought it. I probably wouldn't buy it again just to put on my lips once again because once again my lips get dry because I'm doing an extensive process at this point. But after, you guys will see my skin looks moisturized, my face is moisturized, everything is done. This is my full 2023 current everything shower routine so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and <laughs> enjoy this cringe videos of me trying to figure out how to end the video but if y'all enjoyed this video let me know in the comments and don't forget to like comment subscribe if you are new and i will see y'all in the next video that's why i stay ready